just like training, learning a lot of them. The guitar just started like two months ago after a six year long break or something like that. It's late. Welcome to the studio. It's late. This day was busy with like private stuff, like taxes, a lot of business stuff. Very annoying, but I'm all done with it. So it's time again for creative stuff. And when it's dark, I'm actually the most creative. So the sun is almost gone. I ordered a pizza and pizza, the sun is gone alone in the big studio means a whole lot of music making. Especially when you just got new speakers and especially if you haven't used them to work on a new song. I'm excited, very, very, very excited to spend, ooh, it's bright, to spend the entire day in here, make music, explore my new friends, and also use all of my old friends to create something new entirely from scratch. why but I, I feel like making some some old school house music simple very simple and the best sin for old school house is the cork m1 yeah that's the piano of the cork m1 but i think the more epic sound is definitely the organ also very nice. Ooh, you know what? Let's forget the organ, let's take this one. I like that. I just need some more volume. I think as a bass line. Let's record something. Yeah, I was just lazy, very lazy. <laughs> Instead of playing it, bass lines are boring. I just drew it in with MIDI, it controls it anyway, so we, we got the sound. Drew in chords, just copied the bass line, made chords out of it. So of course, it's all coming from the M1, it's a little much. Let's switch this one up to the Iridium by Waldorf. It's a very capable synthesizer. Um, it's input one and two. So let's pick just a preset, maybe a piano, maybe a synthesizer pad. Let's see, this thing, very wild, can do anything. Uh, attributes, cinematic, keys. Let's try out keys. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, that one sounds trippy. I like that. Maybe you should take the song another direction. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll have to play an ARP. I just love ARPs. A uh, quick little break. There are some people outside, it's late. I think they're partying a little with their scooters. And I love just to turn up the music really loud and turn this into a nightclub and see people's reaction. It's always fun. I would love to know what these people think, like walking past like in a harbor or a building that looks like nothing. And then <laughs> it sounds and looks like a club. Well, yeah, pizza arrived. I had to order two. Like I had to, like there's like a minimum amount you have to order. So two it is, but why not? Of course, some hot sauce because hot sauce makes a good producer. Ooh. That was a lot. Okay, let's get back. We, we stopped at this sound. Which is like a trippy, more ARP kind of sound. So playing chords, it's not it. It's 
Let's maybe rearrange them in an ARP pattern. Oh, you know what? <laughs> There's again a lazier way. Let's just make those chords sustain. Very simple build into logic. It just makes any chord into an ARP. And now there are just too many effects and it's a little like too long. So um, taking care of the envelopes. Sounds a lot more manageable, less reverb, less sustain. Um, let's add a kick. Without a kick, it just doesn't sound like electronic dance music. Yeah, that's fine for now. I think we need um, some, some drum elements, some percussive stuff, a clap, some hi-hats. I'll take care of like a little bit of mixing, putting reverb on top, maybe delay, start arranging it a little. And then um, I think I will just record some, some hi-hats. Good that I don't have any neighbors. It's like two in the morning. Uh, got my little field recorder right here. I'm not recording the entire drum set because that's not really electronic dance music. Just the hi-hat the crash and maybe the ride. Cause there's actually one thing I, I can't do in the doll and it's like opening. I like that. It's like opening a cutoff of a synthesizer. Like these kind of things like dampening it, shorting the sound, you can't do in a computer. Never play drums without ear protection. That's so far everything on the DAW. Um, kick didn't do anything to it. Bass, um, just LFO tool, side chaining. The ARP, a little bit of decapitator and OTT, of course. Just to spice it up and then of course the recorded stuff time corrected i was a little off but without a click and i love the drive they add to it now it's actually a little too boring um at least like to make a full song out of it so let's play around with the arp i think another variation and maybe octave can make it more interesting Yeah, that could be something for like a B section of the song. So maybe something like this. Very simple, very basic. That's usually what you can come up with within like half an hour or something like that. It's just a basis. I usually do like 20, 30 of these and usually a lot more than this. Uh, maybe add some pads, maybe some more automations, start doing like different sections. This is very, very, very basic so far. And yeah, tune in tomorrow because I might be still working on this one, continue this one. Again, very, very basic stuff right here. I hope this inspires you a little. For me, it was definitely fun using the new speakers for the first time. And I think where they really will shine is when I get to the mixing stage. And don't forget, the sample pack is out now. It's linked down below in the description. Very first link, it includes a lot of the stuff I have in here recorded. Also some of the drum stuff I have downstairs in the studio, some instruments, some real stuff that goes through the effects and back and forth. And we also have for the very first time Serum presets. These presets are very special because they're using the samples as sources to alter sounds even more. Very interesting. Go check it out. It's just 10 bucks reduced by half, plus all of the old sample packs included 
just for this week. So don't miss it. Have fun with it. Tomorrow, back here in the studio, more music making. Mm -hmm.